Hello, and welcome to the Mercy College Library's Information Literacy Module Series. In this module, you will learn about plagiarism, what it is and how to avoid it, citations and bibliography, using and crediting outside sources in your own text, and the ALA and MLA citation styles. Ready? Let's get started. What is plagiarism? Well, simply put, plagiarism is taking someone else's work and trying to pass it off as your own. Now, back in the day, the lines were more obvious. You took something that wasn't yours, it was stealing. Do you realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? I'll get kicked out of school. But in today's mashup culture, where sampling and sharing are commonplace, the lines have become much more blurred. In academic writing, though, using someone else's work without credit is still a no-no. A big no-no. A great, big, honking, ugly no-no. Plagiarism can get you busted in a number of ways and none of them are good. Failing your paper, failing the class, put on academic probation, even expulsion from the college. In short, something to be avoided. As a rule of thumb to stay safe, Anything in your paper or project that had any help or support from an outside source, credit the source. Let's take a look at the most common instances of crediting outside sources in your research paper or project that you're likely to come across. For this, let's call upon the fine folks at Purdue University's Online Writing Lab, or OWL. See how I just credited a source there? Okay, let's look at in-text citations, paraphrasing, summary, and quotations. A word on these acronyms and citation styles, APA, MLA, what do those mean? Well, APA and MLA are two of the most popular citation styles you'll be working with. APA is the style of the American Psychological Association and is used primarily in the sciences. MLA is the style of the Modern Language Association and is used primarily in the arts and humanities. As your academic careers progress and you get further into your majors, you may encounter other more specialized styles, but APA and MLA are the two most common. So let's take a quick look at how the OWL site can help you sort of cut through some of this confusion of uh, how to format uh, certain in-text citations. If you're working in the APA style, as you see, just select APA and then scroll down here and you'll see that the OWL site not only tells you, but it shows you exactly how to lay out your short quotations, your long quotations, your summary or paraphrase. The nice thing about it is that you can just make yours look like this and you'll be fine. Working in uh, MLA instead, not a problem. Just switch over to MLA style, then go to the formatting and style guide, and then to MLA in text citations, and it will show you the same information but it will give it to you in the MLA style. So again, very, very helpful site. But wait, there's more. In addition to all this citation stuff in the body of your paper or project, there is also the bibliography page that lists alphabetically the complete citations for all of the sources you used in your paper or project. So again, the OWL site is one that can help you through this part of the process. If you're using MLA, the MLA bibliography is called a works cited page. And OWL has an entire works cited page worked up here for you. And it includes books, magazines, newspapers, journal articles, just about anything, DVDs are in there. Anything you can think of is gonna be there and it's all formatted correctly, of course. So it's called Works Cited. If you're using MLA, just go and make your page look like this. If it's APA you're doing, well, click over to the APA style 
and the APA bibliography is called a reference page. As you can see, citing your sources correctly involves a lot of detail and can be more than a bit frustrating. After our quick review, I'll point you to some additional sources of information to help. But first, let's review what we've covered in this module. We learned about plagiarism, what it is and how to avoid it. We learned about the different styles of citations crediting your sources in the body of your research paper or project. We learned what APA and MLA mean and what subjects these styles generally apply to. We learned about your bibliography page that lists all of your sources alphabetically at the end of your paper or project. Whew, that was a lot. Here are some additional sources that can help you with your citations and citation style. In addition to Purdue's OWL site, there are a number of style guide templates available on the open web. One being EasyBib, which is very popular and embedded in a number of databases, including Credo and ProQuest. Do keep in mind that if you use MLA, it's free. If you use APA, you gotta pay. So that is something to keep in mind, um, for which we recommend the Sun of Citation Machine, which is free for both APA and MLA. So you see, you just select the style you want, APA, for example, and then what is it you're citing? A book, a web page, a journal, perhaps? Select that. Type in the information from the citation, and then Son of Citation Machine will set the style for you. Also in MLA as well. Uh, if you'd rather just talk to an actual human being, come on down to the library at any time and talk to a Mercy reference librarian. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next installment.